We are going to talk about dependency injection. Now, you must have heard these words either as an Android developer or a developer in general. Now, in the example I am going to give, I am going to use pure Java. I have a human class here and another class called hairstyle. I have two fields, style name and popularity, and I initialize them with a constructor. Now, let us add a field to the human class called hairstyle of type hairstyle and I am going to initialize it. So I'll create a new object of hairstyle and assign it to the field hairstyle. Now, let us create a two string implementation in the hairstyle class so that when we print an object of hairstyle, it will be printed out nicely. Currently, we create an object of human and we call human.hairstyle and we can see the hairstyle was printed out. Where did the data for this hairstyle come out from? It came out from the hairstyle variable in the human class. For a small project or small program like this, it seems fine. But let's say some months go by and a developer comes to this hairstyle class and says, hmm, let me add a new field called creation date. So it should represent when that particular hairstyle was created. Now, if I go to my main class, there is no issue here. But then I come to the human class and I see an error. There is an error there because the constructor of hairstyle now accepts three arguments, but I gave it two. Now, this is easy to fix because it is just one class. But what if I had like 50 classes that created objects of hairstyle? I will have to go to each of them and insert an argument, a third argument. Doesn't seem so fun, does it? Now, this is the issue with dependency. The human class is depending on the hairstyle class. Let us go back to main. No matter the amount of humans I create here, they will all have the same hairstyle because hairstyle is hard coded in the human class. That is another issue. Instead of creating the object in the human class, we can use what we call constructor injection. So we would pass in the value for hairstyle through the constructor. Now, the human class doesn't have to deal with the creation of hairstyle again. We would simply create a human class and pass in the hairstyle object into it. What is going to happen is we would create a hairstyle object and then pass it into the human object. And that is how we can sort that out. We have just performed dependency injection. Yes, we have performed it. Now, the type of dependency injection we performed is called constructor injection. You have other types, for example, true setters and true reflection. We are not talking about reflection, but I'll show you the one you can do through a setter. Now, you might not need to do this manually. We have libraries that can do this for us. A common popular library is Dagger. If you're an Android developer and you're into the Android world, you should have heard about Dagger. After this lesson, I will give tutorials on Dagger. But to understand Dagger, you should understand the basic requirement for dependency injection 
and why we need it in the first place. I can inject different hairstyle objects. Like now, I have created a different hairstyle and I inject it into the human constructor. Dependency injection helps in testing. It helps in refactoring. So I can easily change my code and edit it. In case I didn't want to use constructor, I could use a setter, just as I have done now. I would first create a human object firstly. Then after creating a human object, I will now say set hairstyle to inject the hairstyle object. So that is just what you need to know about dependency injection. When you hear it at first, it looks like something large, dependency injection. Firstly, what is dependency? Then you now hear injection. But it's really simple. You might have already been using dependency injection. But the next step is to understand how do we use the library? Because most times you will see people use libraries for this to make this easier. So once you have practiced this, get ready to learn how to use a library like Dagger.